Hello children, this is Ms. Sharon Savio and today you'll be learning English. Before we start, I'd like to ask you a few questions. What do you see on your screen? A couple of books, sugar, milk, water. Which of these can you count? Books. Correct. These are countable nouns. And those that we can't count would be uncountable nouns. How many books do you see? Seven. Correct. And how much sugar? You really can't tell. Now this determines what are countable nouns and what are uncountable nouns. Countable nouns, anything that can be counted by the singular or plural, come under the category countable nouns. Look at the examples that you see on your screen right now. Megan took a lot of photographs when she went to the Grand Canyon. Your book is on the kitchen table. How many candles are on that birthday cake? Notice the words in bold. These are all nouns. Now they are countable nouns because these are the nouns that we can count. We can actually place a number on as to how many. Countable nouns always answer the question how many things that we can count or relate to with a number. There are images of countable nouns which you can look at and understand what they are. With countable nouns comes singular and plural. Anything in one would be a singular and more in number or more than one would be plural. Uncountable nouns. Anything that we cannot count like I mentioned earlier would come under the category uncountable nouns. Look at the examples on your screen. There is no more water in the pond. Please help yourself to some cheese. Please take good care of your equipment. Let's get rid of the garbage. All the words in bold are nouns. And these are the nouns that we cannot count. The words that we use with uncountable nouns would be quantifiable words such as more, some, little, etc. There are images here on your screen which you can look at. For example, salt, soup, tea, bread, juice, meat. These are nouns that cannot be counted. Although uncountable nouns are not individual objects, they are always referred to as singular. One must always use a singular verb when it comes to uncountable nouns. For example, you can say, give me a bottle of water. Now here you are referring to one bottle of water. But if you did say, give me some water, that would be in reference to uncountable nouns. A few things that we should remember while going through countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns always come along with words like each, every, either, neither and so on. Examples, many bottles, several children and countable nouns, as I mentioned earlier, always ask the question, how many? Uncountable nouns always come with quantifiable words such as much, some, little, a little, etc. Some flour, a little jam. Uncountable nouns, as I mentioned earlier, always ask the question, how much? Remember, the determiner any is used with negative sentences, although they may have countable nouns at times. Today, we learned about countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are the nouns that we can count or put in reference to with a number. And uncountable nouns are nouns that cannot easily be counted. For example, countable nouns would be tomatoes, carrots, bottles, pencils, anything that we can actually count and place a number on them. Whereas uncountable nouns would be things that we can measure but actually cannot count. Hair, rice, flour, wheat, bread, etc. Look at your screen, there is another worksheet for you. What I would like you to do is take down these exercises in that book that you are holding and write down the answers. Thank you.